I think that's how that's pronounced, or it's the later. Uh, so, we read chapters 1 through 24. Can you share the entire book? And, so we're going to discuss it. So, yeah, I'll let Kenisha start with her thoughts. Alright, so she's trying to go through me all the way out. Um, the book pulled me in and it was such a departure from the last book we have read and reviewed. Uh, one of the things that I love about this book is the fact that it gave us different point of views. Um, so, and I like that the different point of views were running, you know, concurrently. It was like, okay, this happened here. Meanwhile, you know, so all of the times and maybe because my brain is one of those brains were kind of like, it's like a movie. <laughs> type of thing so it painted such a nice picture for me so I can see you know what could be going on over here and whatever and then at some point all the the, the characters all the point of views just kind of meet up and it makes sense Shmeek. we have that same opinion we're going to dig into my jerk work um well the book so honestly people at first, reading the book, I thought it developed extremely slow. Oh. Like, really, really slow. As Kenisha said, we can appreciate that the character development was good. Um, backstory wise, there's not, a re not really a lot of backstories to tell, but you know enough of, about the characters to have a sort of relationship with them uh honestly i was falling asleep by the fact the fifth chapter literally falling asleep because of how slow the development was i was like okay all right we already know that gansi is the head kahuna you don't need to tell me this like 25 times i know this when are you going to tell me something different right, so maggie to her credit took her time to develop so like I did, I was kind of get annoyed at the, the first five chapters as well because, you know, it's like the, it just kept on singing the story of who the boys were and you really wanted to get past that. So we would agree. But I was not falling asleep. I really was not. But Shanik, however, Shanik, however, on the other hand. I did actually fall asleep. This is not an exaggeration, I did. <laughs> And then, like, I jumped up out of my sleep. And I'm like, oh, where am I? Wow. Yeah, so I've been owning Shani for days now. Come here, can you read the book? Like, yeah, it has not grabbed me yet, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, once in the, let's talk about the world that she has created, by the way. It was beautifully written, I think, in terms of its description of the different things. You know, and it's and, and what I like, even though it was a it had a fairy tale type of thing to it, mm. it had, it also had this in reality type of thing. Yeah, so because she tried to mix both. I wouldn't even say fairy tale, it was like magical like legends are you know, mm -hmm. but I guess it goes back to fairy tales like folklore. Mm -hmm. Right. So even though it's it's like mixing in and you know it kind of put my mind as i said i'm a weirdo and so <laughs> it kind of put my mind into sometimes when you find magical things happening around about us and knowing um knowing that you know people practice witchcraft and all these things because blue came um is from a family of ladies that practice well according to her mother they're not witches yeah they're clairvoyants and these are things that is in our reality and just kind of mixing those things and mixing 
mixing in the, the dream elements mm -hmm. and, and the magical elements of it all was something that I really, it, it, what I liked is that it wasn't so far reaching. You know what I mean? It's like, hear them come again with the same fairy tale story. Like, it, it never felt like that. And I felt like that's one of the things that I really liked the most about the movie. Not another, you know, like not another teenage the drama book. or not a the book. It wasn't a movie. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> I tell you, I'm a weirdo. And that's what happens because I create my in reading the words in my mind, I have created a world. And then because there's just all these pictures going on for me, it's a movie. And so I don't like to read. I mean, watch but... movies and books type of thing. No, it doesn't work out. <laughs> Uh, what I can appreciate about um, Maggie's writing is the fact that she doesn't make you starve. The suspense is there, but she gives you enough to make you want to read on. So even if you think, oh my god, you get past the first five chapters, and you say, okay, all right, we're finally getting into something here, and I think it's about chapter 16. We actually see a bit more or some of Blue's personality because we never really get anything of her personality in the first couple of chapters. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It was more about the boys. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then they, they were telling you that oh, she makes her aunt's and her mother's power stronger, but you never really get a feel of who she was for herself. So when Gansey was trying to set her up with. Women, Adam, Adam. Mm -hmm. she's stuck at him like, yeah, you can't buy me. Mm. I'm no prostitute. Like, yep, I'm gonna care about your money. Yeah, so right there onwards, we start to get an idea of who she actually was outside of the family dynamics, or really inside the family dynamics as well, because yeah. she kind of seems like the black sheep. Mm -hmm. She can't see anything, she can't hear anything. She, she just, just make other people's power stronger. Like, mm -hmm. what kind of selfless gift is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, she in her frustration, and also to the point that Chanik was making about you not getting to see her personality. It's almost like we're taking on this journey also with Blue of self discovery too, because you don't necessarily know. She don't know or understand why, and she wants to know or why. You know, and uh, really, what can she do? You yeah, know, yeah, because she doesn't know. She exactly, and her mother won't tell her anything either. Won't tell her anything, and uh, telling her that she's a cup of something or another, which means that um, she has a lot of potential, you know, to be anything. And she's like, look at the cup of this, and that's what this means when she reads a card, and she's like so over it because how long are you going to tell me? that I'm full of potential, when all I know I can't see that potential for myself. All I'm seeing is you telling me I make you stronger, mm -hmm. but what about me? What more can I do? What, is, what are those potentials? And so she's like, in her, because she, she don't have nobody to talk to, because she said the, the, the stranger, she has learned that the stranger she dress, um, the more people leave her alone. Right. So, you know, we have this sense of, okay, so she's, Almost like a wallflower. Well, she had one friend whose name I can't remember. Oh. There was one girl. But she hasn't been mentioned since. Right. So, she doesn't really, she's not really into the whole um, friendship thing. She, you know, she's like, it takes too much work, even when she mentioned that girl. And so, she found the boys, or the boys found her, really. And it became, and they became her, her it. You know, like at the end of chapter 24, Gansey was saying nothing really started until they met Blue. Well, he said nothing really started until he met every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Especially Blue. Blue, yeah, because she was like the missing piece to the puzzle. So Noah gave him something, Ronan gave him something, Adam gave him something, and Blue gave him something. So each of them contributed to his journey. Right. And, and it's really beautiful when you can see like friendship displayed across like um, the page and I like it because it's deep in the sense that you're there are these four boys four very different 
and a girl and she's also different you know mm -hmm. nobody is the same you don't have this you know like when you're reading manga and and everybody face that looks the same you don't really have that and the point of views are just they're not copied and paste to the next side and say oh here you see the personalities coming through the point of views and i like that and everybody everybody's background kind of paints their personality as well. So mm -hmm. we know that, okay, Gansi is mega rich, mm -hmm. like old, old money rich. rich. Mm -hmm. yeah, so like, who is Noah even? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't know anything about him other than he is possibly one of the four boys. That's all we know. Yeah, that's all we know. He's just one of the friends who comes in on that, that silent voice that says, oh, um, Ronan is here, or Adam is here, or they argue. You know what I mean? He's almost like, when all of us is trying to figure out what is happening, he's like that one liner that comes in and say, "Oh, one line," <laughs> and then you're like, exactly "Okay." That <laughs> raven that Ronan had was making noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you make it stop? Like that was the only line, and then no more Noah. Right, and so you kind of have, have that feeling that there's something wonky going on with Noah. Exactly. Of course, I know what that is, but we're <laughs> gonna leave that until the next video. But um. But it, it, so it, you're still, and that's what I like. She keeps you. The book keeps you guessing about what is going to be, what is going to be next. As Shanique says, you don't. You're not starved for, for the plot. You're not starved for development. It it really happens. I mean, I did think like Blue's response to Yangtze when he approached her in the in the coffee shop was like, wait, wait a minute. You know what I mean? That was like too much for somebody who came up nice, but then at the same time, you from Blue's perspective, he was rude. Honestly. She hated all the Alongi boys and didn't want to work where she worked, so there was all that that like stress. Anybody, any any self-respecting girl <laughs> would feel some type of way, like a guy is offering you money to talk to his friend. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. But she 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 went in. Okay, like. Adam even apologized, you know, didn't make everything okay at first, but then, you know, she kind of had an interest in, in him because he didn't seem like all of the other boys that went to the school, and eventually she found out, like, why he mm -hmm. was. And if she heard the Henrietta um, accent when he spoke and um, all of that, and so she found in Adam a kindred spirit. Mm -hmm. Gansi is you know, the mask, you know, the mask man. I feel that's so how I say it in my head because you never know what Nancy is thinking. You know, but he has, oh, continue. he has seemingly broken friends and he is the glue that is keeping them together. Like if he wasn't there, none of them would have been friends. You know, that's the impression that you get. Mm -hmm. Cause he is, he's the one who brings them all together. And he also seems to have this weird interest in Adam and Blue's relationship. Mm -hmm. like the book describes it. Every time they get close, he seems to be paying extra attention to them. Mm -hmm. Even with the whole hands, anytime they're close by, he's watching them. Oh, really? Yes. I think he look, he likes Blue because there was a point in the book and and you have to forgive me if this is further down Shani maybe can tell me where he was trying to think about something to say to blue when next he saw her that sounds like it's further down oh lord mm -hmm. so so i feel like but the book don't you know it's almost like i get it my friend first approached you but the more time i spend with you uh, i like you. you and especially when Blue is sharing stuff with him. You know what I mean? So Blue let him in, talking to him now, kind of understand, okay, even though he's this rich guy, and he might sound condescending, he's not condescending. And so just watching the Blue Gan say, Adam, I'm like, I'm a psycho player. Please do not do a love trial. <laughs> For the love of God. Oh, <laughs> the cliche tropes. <laughs> Please do not. And that's one of the things that I am kind of hoping that don't happen later on the season, the series and whatever, like, I can't take it. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want any, so, like, yeah. <laughs> Stick to the magic, people. I just want, it's like, you know, Adam for me is annoying in, in the sense that, and 
as you said, run and don't allow the fact that he's rich to define him. He's mm -hmm. a bastard and he's a bastard right through and through and he's acceptant of his of who he is. Mm -hmm. And then Adam is like, I'm this but I want to be more than that. And it's all this whiny whiny business and you can't accept help and you know. Adam is on a, on a mission to, you know, to prove that he's worthy, I think, to be an Arabian boy. Ugh. Because... He has a friend who has a keen interest in him. Well, his friend is key, has keen interest in all of his friends and he's genuinely trying to help him as he saw him help Roland. Mm -hmm. But he believes that if he doesn't do anything himself, it is not accomplished. Or it's not something worth bragging about because he didn't accomplish it by himself. No, in actuality, Nobody accomplishes anything by themselves. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's almost foolhardy, and it's like, and I and I kind of understand it because Adam is also abused by his. Is this Bernardo? No, it's okay. there. All right, so <laughs> Adam is also abused by his father, and so at the end of the day, you kind of understand this warped sense of I am by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, almost like the victim testament where you know he receives no help from his mother. Um, in this 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 fight with him and his father, this broken, very broken relationship with him and his father, and so, you know, at home if you don't receive support, it's right. kind of it's like you kind of don't know how to, to accept, it, yeah. you know, or, or as you say, receive that type of support, and so I kind of feel sorry for him, but at the end of the day, I kind of also feel like you have to learn new tricks, though. You can't just always be in your head about certain things and he's always in his head and he, you know that's the thing where they always talk about he's smart and he's logical and he's the overthinker so every single thing he he starts to think of himself as Gansey is thinking of him as a pet and i'm like really <laughs> really like so it, it, it was really hard for me to kind of relate to but at the same time, I kind of got it in a weird, weird, weird way. I saw where he was coming from. But I'm like, when are you going to get over this? Never. <laughs> Until I prove myself, I will never be worthy of any help. And that's his thing. On to other people. Barrington. Oh, yes. He's very shady. Yes, the Latin teacher. And very desperate, I find. Very because he is also on the same mission that Gansey is on and long before. Know. Yeah, well, he's starting to eavesdrop though yes. on their conversations and, and watching them. Yes. Because he wants to find a thing, because he wants back money and power. That's his thing, because yes. his family lost it all and he wants the power. So that's his entire mission, or the, we call it the, the, the means or the ends to his entire crusade mm -hmm. and it kind of makes me it's like for me it's like the shadow portray, um, portrayal because this could be adam easily if he allows his obsession of doing things by himself getting into this thing and blah 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 and mm -hmm. the book is kind of i don't know if this is the, all right that's way down so next 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 thing but you kind of this obsession that he has to have more you kind of mm -hmm. wonder, like, what are the lengths that he's going to go through? Is he going to be a Barrington? And then that vision that he saw when they were at Caves Water. When he said he would never do that to him. He would never do that to, to Gansey. Um, Gansey, which seemingly he, he had hurt him because he was crying and was like, I would never do that. But in your quest for this oh, fame yeah. and power and fortune and to say that you are now an equal because he was like he can't accept any help from Gansy until he's on the same footing mm -hmm. as him and I was like is he your friend though it's almost like he doesn't understand <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't understand the concept of a friendship and and so he can't so I'm like where is this going so it's like every time I saw Barrington I always think of Adam and you know with that constant noise that he makes about not being one of them and blah 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 and you know and People Barrington is what? a shadow of a man you it's like he wants it so bad and keep on recollecting he hates Yancey simply because 
Gatsy reminds him of the life that he had. Yep. And because, so vain. And because in that life that he had, he was also the leader. Yep, so he was, a, he was, he was. a lazy gentleman. He was a, a man whore. Because <laughs> he could get any girl he wanted. You know, as soon as his father got locked up for fraud, he was. Yeah. All of that changed because they lost everything. Yeah. You know, he's desperately trying to reclaim his life. I hope that goes well for him. I hope so too. Anthony, so what do you think of Neve? I just feel like I don't really get the concept of Neve. I Neve just looked very sneaky. Like from the moment them introduce her, and the mere fact that the other sisters are not so into her, even them is kind of. Because she did say she was her half aunt, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I think she, she seemed kind of evil to me. Yep. I don't know, like she's up to, to something. Yeah, man. She too, for me, you come in, you like, the whole thing was shrouded in secrecy. Like, what is going on here? So, like, but really and truly, I love the book because of stuff like this. There are shady characters, there are good characters, like, while friendship is being forged, enemies are being created and all of these things on the other side and you are right there seeing all of this happening and i'm like yes okay yes Listen, i have a word of advice for maggie why did i have to wait until the 25th 20 no 23rd to 24th chapter for them to actually find something that's like half of the book half Shani cannot um, understand the journey. I, I'm it's not, 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 it's, it's not, not, not understanding the journey, but like, you know what chapter in between 23 and 1? Mm -hmm. A whole lot. <laughs> a whole lot, because in between all that, it's just some very minor stuff. There's nothing significant between all of them. Some other things could have been injected into all of that, but as Kenisha said, it seems you know, that she knows where she's going. So let's let's follow her. Hopefully it doesn't take until the end of the book for something else to happen. Like the first half, hopefully not. Because they seem to stumble upon they have stumbled upon something very interesting in the mountains. Uh, where they found the symbol of the raven and they went into the tree and where they saw the visions. And what's his face? Gansey saw Glendower who that's who he's chasing right that's why why exactly is he chasing Glendower because I don't know because he kept on saying you know whoever finds Glendower gets a favor and I'm like I'm trying to figure out what that favor is but what then, exactly does he want right exactly what what does someone who has everything wants and then at the same time Adam is like well that's for that yeah, but possibly, I think, this is a theory, Adam's dream was probably him getting rid of Gansey to mm -hmm. get to Glendower to get that the favor. favor. Yes, welcome to our life on a nice <laughs> Ugh. Alright, so you really don't get much of everything, but you kind of feel like as Shanique says, the story is going somewhere. We're not agreeing on all the points. We're not agreeing because I personally liked the story. I absolutely loved it. Love it. I would like the rest of the books to read. Um, because... Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> yes, so... Um, I would love the other books to read because I find that it was so I find that I liked it. I like everything about it and I said I just if this became a movie I would totally watch it because or a series as they did with um my girl the one, Cassandra Clare, oh. City of Bones and all these things. The Shadow Hunters as they call it. Which I kinda of prefer her books than I actually like the Shadow Hunters, but this was written for stuff like that if it was supposed to be turned I mean, into a movie. comparison because where do you go Bernadette is no actually a movie okay so, so we can do one of that in the future yeah 
So if they ever decide, we're just putting it out in the universe. But I really like where it's going so far, and um, yeah, I'm not I'm not casting on drugs. I haven't finished with the book, so I know I love it. But Shanique, no, you know, I have to leave the rest for her. Even though every day we kind of try to tell her something just to get her excited about the book, <laughs> she's not biting. Um, yeah, so I feel like that wraps up our review. Yeah. Of the of the book really. It's really a nice read. Although Shanique has a thing to say that if you are a new reader or yes. if you're a slow reader, I mean, go ahead. It's not even a slow reader. If you're a new reader or you've been in a slump, I don't think this would be the best book to start with. Because honestly I don't think it will get you that excited. I in my under opinion. Had, I on the hand I will say shenanigans. This is a good book to just get your day going, get you into the hole. I want to read. Honestly, and though, can you, if, you if you think somebody who, and the book takes so long to develop, somebody who doesn't read, you think they will continue reading this but book? But you know what they would appreciate? The fact that they are getting to understand the story. I'm telling you, I tell Shani that I wasn't going to, I told Shani I wasn't going to do the comparison with the, the, the other book there. Um, that will not be named, you know, but at the same time, it was such a departure. It was so, it was so good for me, at least, I think. It was really good. It's easily becoming on my, on my favorites, really. It hasn't gone anywhere. I haven't read the rest of the books, but I liked it that much. I liked the story. I like how everybody life just entangled and, you know, the whole six degree separation thing, even though, you know, you just wear us all together in this big thing called life and our life and our actions rub across other people's life and yes. change it in, in simplified terms they're interconnected yes now <laughs> and i love connections <laughs> let's choose the book for so <laughs> All right. What are we reading next, Kenisha? All right, can we just shout out this very nice box that we got from Trebzen um, Creations? You can find her on Instagram. Yas, my buddy, family. Anyways, <laughs> um, so you already know the drill. We basically put stuff in this just to make it a little bit random, a little bit fun. Shanique is going to choose. Which book will be reading out? next? No, can't be shaken out. I have to put it. Because in session it decided that we will not be reading the rest of the Raven Boys. Um, sandy stuff. So oh. dramatic. Ah, let's move the box onto the way. What? <laughs> Please do not tell me it's that long one. What is that? We're gonna put the God of New Beginnings. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? Jesus. Rob Cow's Matt Roberts with Dean Merrill. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Kenny Shea has been dreading <laughs> reading The God of New Beginnings. <laughs> and it's not because I have anything against God. I love it. No, him. no. But um, she doesn't know how to read. This is what she said. She doesn't know how to read these types of books. I don't. So she's funny, going to please. learn. Tell me in the comments. I really don't know how to approach them. I have a problem. I have a problem. Yeah. So until next time and the other time. And every other time. And every other time. Bye. <laughs> See you later. See you. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. Look over. Bye. <laughs>